Well, also, I mean, it ties right into his into this point. So he was asked the question, what are the biggest tech trends you see defining the future? Now, you got to remember, Peter Thiel is a venture capitalist. So this is a guy who is parting with his money, investing in ideas and founders of companies. And so he talks, and he goes on to state, I don't like talking in terms of tech trends because I think once you have a trend, you have many people doing it. And once you have many people doing it, doing something, you have lots of competition and little differentiation. And so this position is congruent with his ideology about capitalistic versus competition. Capitalistic, about the accumulation of wealth, if you're a company that competes, then all of those profits are going to be dispersed. He goes on to say, you generally never want to be part of a popular trend. You do not want to be the fourth online pet food company in the late 90s. You do not want to be the 12th thin panel solar company in the last decade. You don't want to be the nth company in any particular trend. And so I think trends are often things to be avoided. What I prefer over trends is a sense of mission, a sense of purpose, that you're working on a unique problem that people are not solving elsewhere. And so if you think of your business as a tech startup, if you're a real estate agent, and you're going to Peter Thiel, and you're asking for him to invest in your company or your service, what he's saying is, you better not be the fourth real estate agent showing up saying the same thing. You better not be the 12th real estate agent showing up the same thing. You better not be the nth real estate agent showing up saying the same thing because you're not going to get his investment in capital. And likewise, this is why so many agents struggle, I believe, to secure clientele. 